Okay, so go ahead and say your stage name and spell it. Okay, my stage name is Falcon. You spell it as F-A-L-C-O-N. Okay, and we're going to go a little off script. How did you come up with the name Falcon? Well, actually, that's uh, the translation of my last name. Oh, I, okay. Yes, um, my first language is Portuguese, so my name is Julio Falcão, which, okay. transla which translates to falcon, like hawk, like the bird. Yeah, got it. Okay, cool. I always like to know the background of interesting names. Okay, so how long have you been performing? I've been performing professionally uh, for, I'd say, 20 years now. Okay. Yeah, I started in 2004 um, back in Brazil while I was uh, still doing like side gigs and different jobs. And then I started uh, my music career. I didn't take it very serious at first, but you know, like it picked up very, very fast, very quick. So here I am now. <laughs> I'm so you're, you're just one of those naturally musically gifted people. I think so. Yes. That's great. Uh, so who were some of your musical influences? Um, I started like, uh, I first um, wanted to be a musician when I started watching like Pink Floyd videos. Uh, my my biggest influence for sure is uh, Pink Floyd. I'd say David Gilmour, like the Pink Floyd uh, band leader, the vocalist and guitarist. Uh, mm -hmm. But I I have a, a broad, um, a broad like kind of taste for music so i i listen a little bit of everything because i don't only play i like producing i like recording so when you kind of um put in a box uh with just one genre like i think you'd limit yourself right so mm -hmm. i try to listen a little bit of everything like folk rock pop um rap a little bit of everything so i can mix and match and and get those ideas that really resonates with my uh, my craft and the way I, I like things. So that comes out in your music then, in your performances? Yeah, I, I, I think so. I think uh, that's a result of what um, I, I like to hear. I, I like to listen. Um, sometimes uh, that kind of paved the way, right, for what you're going to like. That can change a little bit. Sometimes we get, uh, we listen to something new and like, oh, I should do this well, like playing um, in town, I do a lot of covers, so sometimes I'm really into like what's going on, what people are uh, throwing like lately, like new, uh, what's the new hits, and mm -hmm. sometimes I, I listen to stuff like that I really like, oh, I should add this to my repertoire, right? That's great. No, that's yeah. great. Um, so what is it about being a northerner, northerner that helps uh, shape you as an artist? Well, I try to pay attention to what people do around here and the mm -hmm. way uh, and the kind of music. I can tell it's a lot of country around here. So yeah. I've been, uh, been, uh, I've been like more into country music lately. Like I'd say, um, Chris Stapleton is actually uh -huh. a staple around here, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and the old ones like Johnny Cash, like you can't play a gig without playing like Folsom Freeze and Blues. Like everybody yeah. always knows yeah. that. <laughs> Stuff like everybody that. Everybody knows Johnny Cash. Yeah, right? Around here. <laughs> so um, I'd say um, the new ones, like um, I just uh, discovered this guy, um, Tyler Childers. It's amazing, like songwriter. He puts so much uh, emotion with what he's doing, you know? So, um, you can't just ignore that. Like you listen to the music and like, oh, this, this is beautiful. So I learn a song or two here and there. All the time I try to incorporate like new things so people um, don't get bored and see me playing because I, I play mm -hmm. a lot around town. So I try to to be as diverse as I can, right? And uh, yeah. and and play more variety as possible. You want to keep it fresh for your audience. Exactly. Yeah, I, so they keep coming back. Never, I actually have that commitment that I never play the same show. Like, I don't even have like um, a set list. I just oh, okay. I get to a place. I just like start strumming, strumming my guitar and whatever it comes to my head. Like, and I like, oh, I, I just played this like yesterday. So mm -hmm. no, I try to skip those. That I don't want to overdo or overplay stuff. You know? Yeah. I have a, a, a wide variety uh, of repertoire. So why repeat stuff if you can't you know, there's those that people always like expect from you like they like 
oh, can you play that uh, Pink Floyd song or that U2 song that you, you play or something like Eagles. I, I, I usually um, I play this one more often, but it's not that I really go, I, I, I really think of, I gotta play this. It just happens, you know? It just happens, yeah. But I, I still try to be um, as more fresh and diverse as I can. That's great. Uh, so what in your, what is your opinion of a fantastic performance? As in, um, what makes you think, wow, I nailed that one. And you kind of touched on that a little bit, but if there's anything else you want to add, that would be great. Personally, um, well, okay. I'm going to just paraphrase uh, an artist. I, I think it was Elton John, Elton John that once said, and every crowd has the concert that they deserve. So oh, okay. sometimes um, I'm I'm playing for like two or three tables, but people are so engaged. They're so like into my music and what am I doing, interacting. And like, I feel like, oh, I just had a blast. Like it, it's, it was awesome. And sometimes you can, you can perform for, already happened to me, like hundreds of people and you don't feel that connection. It can mm -hmm. happen. So yes. it's about the, um, how big is the crowd or how you're feeling that they, the music has this power of you can just like flip that switch and out of the sudden you just feel like amazing you know mm -hmm. but it's a it's a actually um a lot of things that i can just point like one or two features about that like you gotta feel it that that's what i can tell you like sometimes you just perform i, I always aim to give my best Mm -hmm. I give it all. Everywhere I'm playing, like, uh, regardless if it's for just you sitting on a chair staring at me or there's like a thousand people watching me perform, I gonna play with the same passion, same devotion to my music and my craft. And, you know, um, I always want to deliver and, and touch people's hearts. So sometimes um, you can achieve that. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't feel that it was a a win, you know, like I get home, oh, it was an, another night, like I tried, but it didn't happen because you got to understand like playing on bars as well. Um, it's not all about us, you know, people just, some people come to a bar, they don't even know you're going to be there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they're not into that music. They just want to gather or go for a meeting or go for a quick dinner and buy. But sometimes that happens too. People come like, uh, with the non-pretentious way and they just see you playing and like, oh, you actually should stay longer because the music is so nice. So um, it depends, you know, like you gotta make that effort to touch people and to connect with them and they gotta be open to that experience as well, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's a teamwork. <laughs> I, can do, yeah. I can do it all on my end. Like you also gotta work with me and, and let me touch, you know what I mean? Yeah, it sounds like being at one of your shows is very relational and it's kind of a give and take. And I think that's beautiful. And I, I imagine that anybody who sees you perform or who will see you perform at the Northern Arts Festival is going to feel that. They're going to feel that passion and that creativity and that love of what you do in your performance. So I think it's going to be a great show. Well, Amy, one thing I can promise you, I'm going to give it all. I'm going to do my best and I'm going to try to really touch those hearts there. And I hope a lot of people come and watch it. I'm sure they're going to appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part of Sudbury Performance Group's Northern Arts Festival. It's going it's to be a great a show. I'm happy Thank to have you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It was nice to meet you too. <laughs>